Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Amanda Stars Celebrity Perfume Review. So today I am reviewing Miss Shakira's Elixir. So I will say that this is Shakira's second pillar fragrance, and it started off a whole new line. And what I really like about Shakira's fragrances is they're all pretty much a little bit different from each other. I will say that there's a couple that are a little bit similar, but for the most part they're all very different from each other. And at the same time, most of her fragrances are very different from anything else on the market. Um, I will give that even more with the Elixir line. Most of the Elixirs, they're, they're well blended and well made and there's not really much out, else out there on the market similar to them. So like I said, today we're reviewing Elixir and the box looks like this. And it's got this kind of funky, cool, like African... Um, I can't think of the word I want to use, but it's got this really cool, like, vibe to it that's very uh, Middle Eastern sort of looking thing. And the bottle looks like this, and it's kind of got this almost oil lamp sort of thing, in it, but it's supposed to be like a um, potion bottle. And all of her um, boxes for the Elixir line are extremely well done and well thought out. And each one doesn't really look like the previous one. All the bottles have a similar aspect to them, but each one's very different from the, its predecessor. Um, I will say that I love these because they all kind of have their own vibe to them, and this one is very deserty and very kind of oasis-y, but it doesn't have anything to do with the smell, but it just got a very like desert look to it. I guess that's where I was trying to go with this. So, the box, you've got the words Elixir by Shakira on the top, and then you've got these butterflies and all this kind of frill uh, foliage and frilogy and whatever, and I think I just made that word up. And then it's got the Shakira S on top, and then just kind of looks like this. The bottle, it's got this glass on the bottom, and it's got this uh, gold neck that goes up to the top, and it's got the Shakira S. It's almost like a resin looking sort of thing. The lid comes off like this, it's really cool because it kind of just differentiates the bottle. Um, when I first got it, I thought that this whole entire top part was the cap, so I really like that it's kind of hidden. So, the notes of this one are, top notes are orange blossom and black pepper, middle notes are peony, freesia, and peach, with base notes of amber, musk, cyrax, and white cedar extract. Cyrax is basically benzoid, it's a little bit different, but it's basically benzoid. So, with this one, when you first spray it, I definitely get that black pepper and the orange blossom kind of both coming together. Um, I will say that it's not super peppery throughout the whole entire fragrance, which it was something called Elixir. You would think it'd be almost kind of peppery. But I feel like the shiny note throughout this whole entire fragrance is the amber. And the amber almost gives it this little bit of a vanilla-ness to the fragrance. But it's this kind of weird desert oasis vanilla, if that makes sense. Because that amber kind of gives it that. But, um, as it starts to dry down and you get into the heart, you can really smell the peach. The peach comes out and it's the most prominent fruit of the whole entire fragrance. But then again, it is the only fruit in the whole entire fragrance. The peony and the, um, honeysuckle, I believe is what the other one is. No, freesia. Um, are both there, but they kind of blend together and just give this floral back to the fragrance. Nothing super out there, nothing super floral. But the amber, like I said, really takes over it and the Cyrax helps with that and kind of takes them both to this, like I said, this vanilla kind of, um, vanilla-y, desert-y kind of scent. Um, and with it being that, I also feel like this is a perfect summertime fragrance because it's got that kind of warmth to the fragrance. It definitely could be a daytime fragrance, but also it could be a nighttime. I feel like this could be someone's signature scent that they wear all year round. And it's really, really, really well thought out especially for the Shakira line. Um, that's, like I said earlier, the one thing I really like about the Shakira fragrances is that they're all very different and thought out. So, this one is kind of, and the elixirs are all different. Um, each one's got their kind of, like, where they, where they are trying to focus in on. And this one, I feel, really makes that mark on that kind of exotic vanilla. So, for me, I get about 
six to seven hours of lasting power on this. It does project pretty well, but it doesn't project and fill the whole room, which I really like. Um, this is definitely something you could tell if you pass by somebody what they're wearing. You definitely could tell right off the bat that they were wearing Shakira's Elixir. So, like I said, definitely a, like a daytime scent. I feel like summer would be the best, best time to wear this. So, Oh, excuse me. I, anyway, so as always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. That is my review of Shakira's Elixir. As always, guys, follow me on Twitter, Ada's Perfume, on Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below. And if you would like to, go ahead and comment down below and ask for a future review, and I will definitely get on board to do it. So thanks so, so much for watching. Bye.